Okay, so the bonus to uh, processing your own pumpkins is you have pumpkin seeds. So we're going to go ahead and do those too. First step in processing pumpkin seeds is you have to soak them overnight in pretty heavily salted water. So we're just going to add some water to our little bowl here. And then for that amount, I'm just going to guesstimate probably about two tablespoon-ish of salt. Give it a mix. And again, you're just going to let those set out overnight. And then you can separate all the pulp out. Uh, you do want to separate out the pulp before you actually cook the seeds. So as I'm sitting here separating the seeds from the pulp, it did dawn upon me that I said that uh, this is a tradition that we do with our decorative pumpkins. And I, I wanted to be clear, these aren't pumpkins that you carve. Once you carve a pumpkin you and let it set out, you can't use it for food because it'll start the decomposition process pretty much as soon as you cut it open. So I want to be clear that these are pumpkins that have sat out uncarved, right, that we're processing. Because like I said, I want to be really 100% clear that you, you can't do, you can't process pumpkins that you have already cut open on a previous day. Okay, so today, next day, we are going to uh, finish processing our seeds. These are the seeds that have been soaking overnight in salt water. We're going to go ahead and drain these out. And that's real simple, just going to put them in a colander. Drain the salt water off. Give them a little rinse. If you have any uh, pulp left on there, you want to go ahead and pick it out like that. And that. Uh, try to get as much of the water and pulp out as you can. Okay, so the next step that we're going to take is we're just going to put these out on some paper towels. And we're going to try to get them as dry as we can and you know, keep pulling the pulp out as you find it. And they don't have to be bone dry, but you want to get as much as the water off as you can because the next step we're going to take is to roast them and just pat them dry so the next step that we're going to take is I'm going to go ahead and uh, prep uh, I guess for lack of a better word the rub that we're going to put on this stuff. I have here um, a tablespoon, excuse me, two tablespoons of olive oil. I have two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Interesting fact. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> Here's a teaspoon of onion powder. We have a teaspoon of garlic powder and two teaspoons of uh, all-purpose season salt. And then we're going to add just a dash of cayenne. And then mix that all up in the bag. And again, these don't have to be bone dry. Okay, so once you get your seeds all uh, situated, I'm just going to put them in our Ziploc baggie here. See if I can 
do this without making a huge mess. Alright, so once you get all your seeds in the bag, you just seal it up. And give it a good toss. Um, as far as the seasoning and spices that you put in here, you can do whatever blend that you want. Um, the blend that I'm using here is essentially the same thing as Chex Mix spice. Like if you were to make that that uh, holiday snack, this is the same seasoning that you would make on that. Once you get it really well incorporated, you get your sheet tray. You don't have to have the uh, parchment on it, but it does make cleanup a lot easier. Just spread these out. And you want it pretty much in one layer. You don't want a big mass clump. And then this will go into a 350 degree oven for like 45 minutes to an hour to get to your desired level of doneness. Probably you want to go ahead and give it a stir every so often just to make sure that everything is evenly toasted. This is what uh, the seeds look like after about uh, 45 minutes. That was close, actually closer to an hour in a 350 degree oven. Uh, you basically want them to be dry. And as you can see, they're very dry and crispy. And they will keep. Uh, just need to keep, put them in a, once they're completely cooled, you just put them in a container. You can keep them at room temperature. Um, I don't know exactly how long. They never really last much longer than a week or two. But there you go.